Hi ladies and gentlemen, today I'm discussing about a block in Simulink which is called Signal Builder. And it is the most amazing block uh, in Simulink. And uh, what it does that we can do different kind of signal manipulations with this block in a beautiful GUI mode. So this add this block to see how it works. So here's my block. So to see uh, its properties and how it works, we have to just double click on it. And here's my new window opened. Here we have a different kind of uh, uh, functions, uh, uh, signals that we can generate with the help of this signal builder. So for, for example, I just want to add a kind of a pulse that look like this. So I can also do it as well. But just checking the node and just dragging it. So it's very easy to do this kind of signal manipulations. And uh, uh, here's a block and it's have a signal one and a signal two. And we're gonna just put it this into my score, but I just want to add two different axes or two different graphs so we can see both of this simultaneously. So here it goes. After running as you can see, now, for example, if I want to add other uh, different kind of uh, signals as well, so let's say I just want to add a, a, a sample sine wave, so I can just click over it, it's going to ask me for the frequency, amplitude, offset, and that kind of stuff, I want to just say, okay, the frequency one is, okay, so here we have a sinusoidal wave, so as you can see the block, I now have three outputs. If I want to add a more sinusoidal waves, uh, like uh, with a sample sine wave, and here I just change frequency from one to three and press OK. I can also add a triangular wave kind of stuff as well. So I'm gonna go to single new, and here is my triangular pearls. You're gonna ask me for frequency amplitude and offset. I click OK, so here is my another. So now you have four signals and uh, as the block is also showing four outputs. So I'm just not interested in this. So just delete these two above signals and we're gonna just play with other. Now I, I just wanna add a noise. So I can just add sample Gaussian noise with a frequency of 10 and press okay. So here's my noise as well. So I have four signals over here now. And uh, now I'm gonna just introduce an adder and just four inputs and a scope, change it to one. It's axis or number of graphs that you can want to see. And now just click run. And you can see the output that you, how easily you just uh, played with the, this sinusoidal triangular kind of sort of way with Gaussian noise. So it's a very simple and easy block. You can also just change the name of uh, the signal as well. For example, I just want to click the signal number uh, three and I just ask it that it's a sine wave. And I press enter as you can see, this thing is changed to sine wave. Now here I just want to add sine wave, wave with the frequency of uh, three. So as you can sine wave with the frequency of three three here is my Sartooth wave and I just gonna say Sartooth with the help of this tool signal uh, manipulation became very very easy uh, noise and you can see I have just changed all of their names as well next thing is that uh, with this uh, GUI you can also change the time when you, you you have to play with this uh, tool to just see how it works uh, and uh, if you want to see or to work more with it you can do almost a di uh, different kind of a single manipulation with the help of this tool and just click on its help and here is the help is opened and just click over here it will tell you about the signal a uh, great signal and interchangeable groups of signals will be from our piecewise linear and uh, if you want to just uh, see signal groups to click over here and here you will see a lot of literature about this block and it will guide you step by step how it works and you can just uh, 
take a look as you can see a lot of literature over here and uh, just read it and then use it in your different projects or simulations take care have a good day